We're here today talking with Charlie Hughes, a senior on the men's basketball team. Now, Charlie, what made you first want to come play basketball here at University of Chicago? Um, so when I was looking at uh, you know different colleges to potentially play at um, uh, back when I was in high school, uh, you know I first was contacted by the University of Chicago. Um, I'd heard of the school um, just based on its academic reputation, so you know that was very uh, very appealing to me. Um, I was trying to go to you know as good of a school as possible, and then I uh, actually came on my um, first recruiting visit. Um, in the fall of my senior year, and uh, actually was fortunate to be here on the same weekend as Sam Gage. Um, we got along really well, and then sort of, you know, had some communication throughout the rest of our senior years. And uh, when we both got in, uh, we kind of both like I, we, I remember talking on the phone with him like around Christmas time of senior year, and you know, sort of saying, "Well, I think I'm thinking about you, Chicago. You know, you should go too." So it was, it was nice, you know, I really got along with the guys on the team, and it was nice knowing, you know, there was another kid in my class who I was going to get along with well, and uh, then, you know, we added Derek Davis later in the, our senior year, so we kind of knew we had a good group of guys coming in together, so that was, you know, helpful as well, but uh, I'd say the biggest draw for me was sort of the academic, you know, prestige of the university. Coach McGrath has remarked that this year's team is probably the most athletic team he's ever had. In what ways has that impacted how you guys play on the court this season? Yeah, uh, we've got a lot of really athletic guys. Um, uh, you know, we get up and down the court pretty fast, and uh, we're tough on defense as a result. Um, you know, it, it's really nice because uh, it's nice to go into a game knowing that, you know, at least on a physical level, we're going to outcompete, you know, whoever we're playing that day. Um, you know, even in our preseason game against uh, UIC, we were, you know, just as athletic as them. They might have had a little bit of size on us, but we, you know, had just, we had the same sort of caliber of athlete that they did. Um, but, you know, it's nice. It makes, you know, all the other stuff easier. You know, if you know, you know, I'm confident if we have one of our guys going for a loose ball and the other team has someone on someone going for it if they're about the same distance away I feel like 90% of the time our guy is going to get it so it just makes everything you do on the court you know that much easier. Now the team has a unique setup this year with the starting group opening the game and then a whole five-man bench unit that subs in almost like a hockey line change. Yeah. How has the team adjusted to this new setup and uh, and the improved depth? Well, you know, the depth is great. Um, it's really nice knowing that if, uh, you know, when the first group goes out, we've got, you know, five guys that are ready to come in or, you know, we really don't lose a step when that second group's in there. We've got, you know, a lot of talent that comes off the bench. But um, it's good. I'm the hot, you know, keeping it the first, like, we do the hockey lineup for the first rotation, usually about through the first half. But then in the second half, it starts to get a little bit more mixed. But... It's nice knowing that you know if someone's having a bad game and str or struggling or someone gets hurt, we have you know another guy right behind them who's just as good who can come in and take their spot, and we don't really lose a step that way. Now, the team is averaging eight three pointers a game and has tallied at least eleven threes in a game six times this year. Just talk about that dynamic that the team has with being a dangerous three point shooting team and how that kind of. Uh, helps determine your offensive game plan and how teams prepare for you. Yeah, you know, um, we've been shooting the three really, really well this year, and uh, I've had people recently ask me if I think we're a, just, you know, purely a three-point shooting team, which I, I don't think I do necessarily. Um, you know, going back to, you know, the athleticism our team has, being able to shoot the three as well as we do really opens up the floor to, you know, our big guys inside and for our guards to get into the paint. Um, so, yeah, just being able to make threes like we have been has really opened the floor up for us on offense. And, you know, teams are hard-pressed to help off of anyone because, you know, at, you know, at a given time we have at least four guys on the court that can, you know, knock down an open three-pointer, um, which just, I think, makes us just a much more dynamic offensive team. In your time on the basketball team, what are some of your favorite memories, both on and off the court? Well, um, you know, there have been a number on the court 
uh, that are memorable. You know, a big one was my sophomore year. Matt Johnson scored 49 in our win over Emory when they were ranked third in the country. And we looked out on Sports Center. Um, then last year, you know, we beat Wash U when they were ranked uh, in the top five in the country. Uh, we beat them at home. That was a really big win for us. Um, and, you know, then off the court, there's, you know, almost too many, you know, happy memories to really single any out. Um, I've gotten along with my teammates, you know, every year. It's, you know, the basketball team is sort of a family. We don't have a huge team. Uh, it's always, you know, 10 to 15 guys, so you get a, you know, a lot of chance to hang out with everyone. So, um, you know, the, the biggest thing that I think I'll remember is just, you know, hanging out you know, sort of shooting the breeze in the locker room before and after practice and games and just, you know, really the camaraderie that, you know, I've experienced while I've been here has been great. What are some of your plans after graduation? Um, I haven't decided uh, what I'm going to do immediately following graduation. I'm still interviewing in a number of places, but um, uh, probably a couple years down the road I'm planning on going to law school. Um, not sure where. I would like to stay in Chicago, but... Um, and looking at opportunities uh, both here and uh, on the West Coast as well.